Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to discuss the empirical rule. So I'll share my computer screen with you. So let me get rid of this. Says the scores in a college exam are normally distributed with mean mu equal to 52 and standard deviation sigma equal to 11. First part A, about 68% of the values lie within hyphen and hyphen with Z scores between dash and dash. About 95% of the values lie within dash and dash with Z scores between dash and dash. And about 99.7% of the values lie within dash and dash with Z scores between this and this. So uh, we will use the empirical rule. The empirical rule for bell shepherd distribution or for bell shepherd. or normal distribution. So this is a bell shape distribution. Approximately, of course, my drawing is not all that great, but you get the point. This is a bell shape distribution. The center where the peak is the highest, mu is equal to 52, sigma equal to 11. Okay. So you have uh, probability on the vertical axis and the scores on the horizontal axis. Now the same information translated to the standard normal curve. And the bell shape at curve, approximately. So where the peak is the highest for the standard normal curve, Z is equal to zero and sigma is equal to one. So this is the standard normal curve. Or Z curve. At the center where the peak is the highest or relative frequency is the highest, mean is zero, standard deviation is one for this curve. Okay, so empirical rule. States. That approximately 68% Part A, 68% of the data will fall between mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. Okay, so let's do the number crunching. Our mu is equal to 52. Sigma is equal to 11. So mu minus sigma is 52 minus 11, which is 41. And mu plus sigma is 52 plus 11 is equal to 3 and 63. So if I go one standard deviation on the right of the mean, OK? So on the right of the mean, the numbers are increasing. So this is 52 plus 11, 63, this particular point. And on the left of the mean, numbers are decreasing. So 52 minus 11 is 41, this point. Then if I draw two vertical line, this will be 68% of the data. The area inside 
or under the normal curve between 41 and 60, uh, 41 and 63. Remember this point is 63 and this point is 41. Between 41 and 63. Okay. So to answer part A, about 68% of the data of the values lie within 41 and 62 with z scores between minus 1 and plus 1. So if I draw the same information on the z curve, so if I draw corresponding on the z curve this is minus one and this is positive one on the axis and this area is 68 percent okay <clears throat> now let's do part b mu minus two sigma and mu plus two sigma so mu is uh, 52 minus 2 times 11. And this one is mu is 52 plus 2 times 11. 52 minus 22. And this is 52 plus 22. So this is 30. And this is, this is plus. Right? 52 plus 22 is 74. So... Empirical rule states that approximately that approximately ninety five per cent of the mm, data will fall between 30 and 74. I just want to mention that the standard normal variable z is given by x minus mu by sigma, right? So let's create some space for ourselves. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let's move this up. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go back here. So corresponding Z score will be X is 30, okay, minus mu is 52 divided by your standard deviation, which is 11. So this will be minus 22 over 11 is equal to minus 2, minus 2, okay? And the other one, Z, will be X is 74 minus 52 mean divided by 20, divided by 11. 11 is the standard deviation. So this is 22 divided by 11 is 2. So according to empirical rule, an answer to part B, is about 95% of the data will fall, will lie between 30 and 74 with Z scores. between minus two and plus two. Okay. <clears throat> so we have to create some more space to answer part three. Um, so let me do that.
Okay, part C. Part C. Mu minus 3 sigma is 52. Minus 3 times 11 is 33. And mu plus 3 sigma is 52 plus 33. 52 minus 33 is 9 and or 19 and 52 plus 33 is 5 and 85. So empirical rule, empirical rule states that approximately Ninety five percent or ninety nine point seven percent, ninety nine point seven percent of the data will fall between ninety five nineteen and eighty five. So again, you can check the Z score. For 19 is 19 minus 52 divided by 11, which is minus 3. And Z score for 85 is 85 minus 52 by 11, which is positive 3. So, so answer to part C. is about 99.7% of the data will, will lie between 19 and 85 with z-scores. between minus three and positive three. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like your, this video, please let your friends know about it and you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you.